All right, all right. Uh, can you hear me? Am I live? Give me a give me know if uh, let me know if I'm live. I've got a new setup here. I'm in a new warehouse. I'm excited to be here. It took me a second to get everything going, and we do have guitar because this is our beginning blues guitar mastery workshop, and I got a lot of great things for you today. We're gonna go over a bunch of stuff. We got a handout for you. We got some exciting news coming out for you as well. So let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me. Let me check my chat here. I'm so excited to be here. I am live. All right. So I'm actually in a new setup here, uh, a brand new setup, brand new warehouse. Uh, I'm upstairs here. I got a little bit of a different backdrop here. It's the same, same backdrop, but a little bit different. Uh, so I'm real excited about that. And I'm also very excited because we do have the guitar, the guitar. So if you're excited about the guitar, throw me something in the chat. Give me an emoji. Give me something. Jump up and down. I don't know. Grab your guitar. But anyway, this is going to be a great, great workshop. Uh, uh, and I, I apologize for the delay. I couldn't figure out what's going on, but I was on my Uke Like the Pros YouTube. And so now we're on the Rock Like the Pros YouTube. And the, we do. We decided to separate the two channels so that way the rock like the pros, you know, you're getting the guitar content, and then you like the pros, you're getting the ukulele content. So, anyway, it's great to see everybody. Um, thank you for joining us. This is going to be a fun workshop. Uh, we'll, we'll be around for about an hour or so, uh, hanging out. We're gonna do some playing. If you're total beginner, that's totally okay. If you're totally new to guitar, this isn't like necessarily beginning day one, like you just got your guitar an hour ago, but this is not too bad and we're going to start at the very beginning and then i got some exciting stuff at the end for you if this is something you're interested in continuing on your guitar journey here so it doesn't matter what guitar you have i just happen to have this really nice old gibson uh hollow body that i'm using um this is from the 60s this should be fine if you have an acoustic guitar that's fine if you got a classical guitar that's fine you got an electric guitar totally fine it doesn't matter what you have we are going to be in guitar tuning right so the regular e a d g b and e normal guitar tuning so anyway thanks for all for being here i know we got a nice turnout here uh and i appreciate you sticking around for those few minutes so all right, let me know because again, we've been we've been so much on our you like the pros that we're kind of getting back into our rock like the pros. For those of you that don't know, I actually spent a majority of my career as a professional musician, a rock player, blues player, jazz player. Um, I made my living for a long time just playing music. That was my thing. I was up in LA. I was an LA studio musician. I had my own studio. I used to record, uh, write a lot of songs for TV, for film. I used to work with a lot of different artists in the studio. Um, and so really about 20 years of my life was in LA doing that. Uh, so I went, I was from LA. So maybe you guys don't even know this, but I was actually born in LA. It's kind of rare. If you've been to LA, you know, it's rare to actually be from <laughs> LA. That's fine. That's fine. Well, Carlos bringing me my water. Um, I, was, I was looking for my my thermos. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere. That's fine for now. Thank you. Uh, shut that door too, because that way Josh can rock out down there. Um, so I was born in LA, moved to San Diego, began my guitar career, so to speak, a little kid, uh, about 14 years old, 14, 15 years old, started playing guitar. This We were thinking about this yesterday. It was during the 80s, right? The mid to late 80s during this time. And so that was when guitar was real big in in a lot of songs. Like, when I mean big, because guitar is still big, but I mean big like guitar solos you're talking about. This is the time when Guns N' Roses came out. This is when the, kind of the hair metal, the 80s bands were out. And so guitar, guitar solos were real big. Van Halen was a real big influence. Uh, Led Zeppelin, of course, was a huge influence for me um, as well. And I loved everything. I mean, I love BB King, I love Eric Clapton, ACDC. I loved all that stuff. So uh, I started playing guitar about 14, 15. My neighbor, a junior, he played guitar, great left handed guitar player. Um, and uh, and that kind of started. And so then that just kind of developed and developed. And by the time I was um, 
you know, 18 or so, it was, it was kind of like, I went, went all in on guitar, 18, 19. Um, I stopped playing baseball at the time, went all on guitar, started doing a lot more guitar, uh, doing a little bit of gigs, some rock band. And then eventually I went to school and I got my, my, uh, undergraduate degree from, from guitar, went to community college for a while, ended up graduating from San Diego state university in guitar and, um, music education. So that was a, always a big part of my, my career too, the education. And then what got me back to LA, and I'll kind of give you a condensed version here. I'm not going to give you too much, but just so you have a, a general idea of me, what got me back to LA is right when I was graduating from San Diego state, I was about to go to Europe. So it was my thing. It was like excited to graduate. And I wanted to head to Europe for a while. And my girlfriend at the time, now my wife, was like, you know, you should check into a master's degree, right? And so I didn't even think about a master's degree in music and guitar at all. It wasn't even my thought. All I wanted to do was go and play. Play, I wanted to play, I wanted to play, I wanted to play, I wanted to play guitar, I wanted to play. So I just happened to look around and I looked at UCLA. By the way, thank you all for being here. I do appreciate that. Thanks for the comments. Smashing the like button. Make sure you smash the like button. It helps this video as this is a public video and we're doing this for you. Um, there's a packet. My, my team will put in chat. If you want the packet that goes along with today's workshop, you just got to go sign up. If you already signed up, you should have had that in your email. If not, you should go sign up again. You'll get instant access to the uh, PDF that we're including here. So anyway, I was looking around. I looked at UCLA. Great school. They had great guitar player up there. My name Kenny Burrell. Great jazz guitar player. Him and I actually became friends later on down the road. But uh, they only had a degree in music ethnomusicology, which is not something I wanted to study. I didn't want to really study that. So I was looking for something to play. I wanted to be a studio musician. I wanted to, I wanted to gig. I wanted to write. And so I happened to stumble upon USC, University of Southern California, also up in LA. And it just happened. Like this is sometimes where the universe, I think, is speaking to you. And it's, it's helping shape and direct your path. And so at the time when I found USC and they had a studio jazz guitar program, this was like, that was right up my alley. Cause that's what I wanted to do. I like jazz. I was into jazz. I like jazz more than classical music at the time. Uh, jazz guitar, at least I like playing. I like how you can improvise and you can kind of do your own thing. So this really interests me. And then studio work, this was always something I was really interested in studio work, you know, doing, doing, playing on people's records, writing, uh, playing on TV commercials, stuff for movies, you know, that kind of stuff. It really, really intrigued me at the time. So I, I got, a, I got, a to USC and it just happened. This is kind of a weird thing. This is, I was studying bass. I was studying upright bass, the big, that big upright bass. And, the person I was studying with is a great, fantastic singer, bass player, jazz singer, jazz bass player, Kristen Korb. She used to live in San Diego. Just really, really awesome. She was amazing. And I was studying bass with her. And it just happened that the head of the USC studio jazz guitar program, Frank Potenza, like he played on her last album. So they had a really good connection because of that. And then when I applied to USC, I said, you know, Kristen Korb, I said it was Kristen Korb. So she really kind of helped get me in to, to USC. Now, here's the other thing, and I'll, we'll get to playing here in a second. The other thing was, this was late, like, like they've already had all the applications for the, the year, right? This was like almost the beginning of summertime. They already knew all everybody that was coming in because school was starting in like three months. It just happened that they just lost, like literally that day, they had lost one of their TAs because he got a full-time job teaching at another school. So they needed a teacher's assistant to come up there and, and fill in. And it's so, and I just happened to apply. So again, that connection that sometimes that path of where you're supposed to be. So anyway, I applied, got in, I think I just had to send a CD up, had a CD of myself playing and I got in and then they gave me a teacher's assistant. So I got to go up to LA, get back to LA, my route, my home, get back to being close to my grandparents. That's a whole nother story, but being close to my grandparents and uh, going to USC and doing my degree, my master's in music and studio jazz guitar, which I did graduate from in 2002. And then that just led into my career as a LA, LA guy gigging. I used to gig all the time. And like I said, writing for TV and film, doing gigs, producing albums, writing songs, being in bands myself, and just really kind of enjoying that life before um, kind of ukulele took over, you know, five years ago, that's you collect the pros, that's a different story, but we're back now. 
we're back now and i want you to be here with my journey as i rediscover the guitar so yeah even me rediscovering the guitar finding that love for playing and just picking up the instrument and that's why we're here today okay so now i can't see all your comments things there's a lot of comments going on and uh, but anyway leave a comment my team is here to help out with any questions and I'll, I'll have to put my glasses on in a minute so anyway we're going to get started here if you haven't signed up or want the pdf again we'll put the link in the chat and uh, we'll get started on that the other thing as i mentioned we have moved and so i'm in a new location i'm very excited about it a one day move has turned into four <laughs> so we thought we thought this move would be really really easy and it ends up being we have a lot more ukuleles guitars accessories uh racks to hold us up than really anticipated but we are in the officially the new space we're calling this the you like the pros headquarters and uh i'm upstairs downstairs we have some offices we have uh, our full repair studio re repair shop downstairs where we're doing ukulele guitar repairs fixing stuff and then we have the warehouse which is also basically over there and downstairs as well so anyway i actually just literally had to change out of my work clothes to get here and as you can see we are with the rock like the pros shirts which you can get over at store dot you collect the pros dot com so anyway very very cool and i'm excited to have you guys here so grab your guitars and as we going through this if you like what we're doing if you like the blues if you like guitar and you want more of it i have some very good news and specials for you that we'll get to at the end but for now i'm ready if you're ready i'm ready let's dive into let's dive into our uh, session here i'm going to put everything up on the screen for us and if you want the downloads all you got to do is go sign up uh, once you sign up you'll get instant access to all the things that i'm going to show you right here on the screen here you don't need to have any experience in blues you don't really even have to have too much experience on the guitar we're going to kind of start from the beginning but of course if you've been playing for a little while or have some uh some stuff you can do that's obviously going to help you in this in this uh today's workshop all right so hold on i just need to log into my whatsapp i had to log out as i reset and again i am i'm honored that you're here with us today all right so let me let me get the uh all right there's all the links okay so all the specials here oh yeah you collect the oh sorry not you rock like the pros.com slash workshop if you want to sign up for that let me just get this okay it's funny too because we literally like just came from the other warehouse <laughs> about a few minutes before before we started today so it's great to see i'm so happy so great to have a guitar in my hand although you know i love the ukulele that's not going to change at all but it's it is really good to have a guitar in our hands it kind of feels like uh feels like home a little bit feels like home all right, so I'm just getting the I'm just getting this for myself. I'm going to put this on the screen. And we're going to get started. So grab your guitars, get it tuned up. We're just in standard uh, E to E tuning here. A little bit different than the uke, right? A little bit bigger, more strings, obviously more strings, bigger neck, a little bit of a bigger body. So kind of a almost a different beast altogether, although it is a string instrument in that sense. All right. So look at this cover. If you have not seen this cover yet, my gosh, this thing is killer. This is such a killer cover. I love this thing. As you know, red's my favorite color. I actually had a red shirt on earlier, but uh, it got a little dirty, so I'm I'm rocking my my black one. So check this cover out. Look at this cover. Beginning blues guitar mastery, Terry Carter rock like the pro. So how amazing does that look? So welcome to the workshop. If you're just joining us, thank you for taking your time out of your schedule to to do this so hold on that's a that's a book i think huh that's a book that's the wrong thing anyway that's the book i wasn't supposed to say anything yet so anyway that's one little sneak peek i'm letting you have so <laughs> one little sneak peek i'm gonna have to find the uh the right link here on what's that <clears throat> all right hold on hopefully they send it to me here hopefully alex is hearing this and sending me the right the right pdf it's somewhere here here it is yep i got it sorry that was just the, that was just the wrong one here's a there it is. Anyway, it looks very similar. <laughs> it looks very similar. That's why. Okay. 
there's a workshop one. Let me, I will put this up on the screen and go ahead and you should go get this. If you don't have it yet, just go get it. This is a cool little handout. This is something you can print out. You can have with you on your computer. If you, you know, jam with other people or stuff like that, you teach, maybe you're a teacher, this would be a good little resource for you to have. So anyway, the cover looks very similar. Look at this, look at this. Mari was crushing it on this one. All right, there we go. All right, so here's a workshop. Look at this thing. How cool is that? How cool is that? Beginning blues guitar mastery workshop, rock like the pros. Let me just go make sure my stream is looking okay. All right. All right, got it. New pin chat. Sweet. All right, we are live. Good. I'm caught up. All right, there it is. Yeah, we're a little delayed here. All right, so there's that. Grab this again in that link below. All right, and then stick around because we have some exciting news for you there. All right, real quick, we're going to do all shuffle today. Okay, today's going to be all shuffle. We're not going to do the. We're not going to do any kind of blues rock today. We're going to do it all kind of. We're going to do all shuffle. I'm going to teach you how to go. It's really simple. This is probably actually the easiest way that this was ever explained to me by the, my great friend, Steve Travato, fantastic guitar player and teacher at the University of Southern California. And this is the how he taught me how to play swing. And this is really literally like the easiest way to learn it and for you to teach somebody. Okay. Because a lot of times when you play this, when you play this shuffle, people just say, feel it. Oh, you'll feel it. You'll hear it. Just follow along. But this is really explained really well. So what I want you to do here is I want you to grab this first chord here. I'm going to show it to you here. I'm going to show it to you here. Oh, this might be an old, this might be the old one, but it's okay. I can still find it for you. Let me find it over here. All right. I want you to grab this first chord for me. See this first chord here? Let me zoom this. This A chord right here. Grab this for me. Okay. Open fifth string and the first, first finger on the fourth string, second fret. All right, matter of fact, we don't even need this for a second. Everybody grab this for me. By the way, this whole setup, thanks to uh, Amanda, she's our uh, You Like the Pros photographer, Rock Like the Pros photographer, and she uh, set everything up for me today. So that was awesome. All right, so that's all you need. And when you're picking it, you're just going to literally hit, let me hold this up a little bit. You're just going to be playing these two strings. That's it. Don't play the sixth string. Don't play anything below the fourth string. Just, just do that. Okay, that's all we're gonna do is just that that chord for right now. That's it. Super simple. Okay. Now it's gonna take some time. What I want you to do, if you notice your fingers starting to hurt a little bit, put that in the chat when they start hurting. Because I remember when I was a kid, when I was that little. 14, 15 year old kid learning guitar. And I took lessons for a, a, just a little while, maybe a month or two. I didn't, I wasn't really digging it that much, the lessons. Uh, but I remember my hands hurting real bad. I remember my fingertips hurting real bad. So let me know if you're feeling a little pain here, a little, little maybe the calluses aren't built up, you know, but uh, I just love to know that because I know, and don't worry if you are, because I had that same issue. All right. So anyway, this is, this is go back to the, this page right here. This is a swing versus or straight versus swing eighth notes again rock like the pros.com slash workshop all you gotta do is sign up just put your email address in and then you'll get access to this exact exact pdf that we're using right here all right so now the play straight okay so when you think of straight is this and by the way i'm just using all down strokes if you can see my hand just all down strokes Okay, straight is when you literally take the beat and subdivide it in half. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and two, and three. Okay, that's straight. What the straight eighth notes are, that's your blues rock. Right? That's, your, that's your Johnny B. Good. That's your Chuck Berry. That's all the, the rock guys, you know, that started all in the 50s. That's... Uh, you know, Fats Domino, that's Little Richard, that's Jerry Lee Lewis, that's Elvis, 
And those, that's a straight. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and. Okay, that's your blues rock. Okay, so whenever you think of straight eighth notes, that's what you want to think of. Okay, and that's also rock music in general, right? But since this is a blues workshop, we're talking blues. All right, so that's simple enough. Now, the next step in order to teach you how to play shuffle, again, I don't want you to just to feel it. I know you can feel it. I know you can hear it. But if you don't understand it, you might going to play it wrong, or you're not going to be able to teach it to somebody that doesn't know. And as I said earlier, feel it is not an option. That is not that's not teaching when you say feel it. Okay, that's like that's kind of old school style. But you got to really you got to really be able to understand what you're doing. All right. So now I'm going to take this triplet here. By the way, I'm right here. In case you don't know where I'm at here. I'm right here on this. By the way, let me just check my feed here. Okay, good. I see you all. Yeah, good question. I know it's kind of hard. I'm trying to screw back here a little bit. No, I'm playing, yeah, both strings together. Both strings together with one down stroke. And I'm only hitting those two strings. That can that's gonna be a, a hard at first. That's gonna be hard at first. And I'm just using down strokes. I am using a pick for this. And I am hitting the fifth and the fourth string together. Get that nice thick sound. All right, so that's your that's your rock sound again. Awesome. I'm so happy you're here. I'm feeling great today. It's been a real struggle. <laughs> I'm gonna come and be honest with you. The move has been a real big struggle in a good way. In a good way. But if you look at some of my stories that I've been posting up on the You Like the Pros Instagram or the our YouTube channel, you see like we're just we're just we're a mess. <laughs> we're a mess. We're hot. We're dirty, and we're getting it done. Um, as a matter of fact, as I scan this room, you don't really know, but this is a huge room I'm in right now. Gigantic room. This is upstairs on our new uh, complex headquarters, uh, and it has like there's there's just literally hundreds of ukes in this room. I see Colohas. I see Romero's Creations. I see Canaleas. I see Rebels. I see Anui Nuways. Uh, I see Enyas. I see Risas. So I see all kinds of ukes sitting all the way around me. Uh, right here. Now, okay, good. Hey, Lawrence, what's up, man? I know it's a little later in England. By the way, where are you all from? Is my hair looking okay today? Uh, uh, where are you all from? I just mentioned Lawrence is from the UK. I'm here in San Diego. Uh, and and as I mentioned earlier, we are opening up. You're kind of the first ones to know. We haven't actually haven't advertised it, but we now have two full-time luthiers on site now so two and so we're actually besides besides the instruments that people buy from us store.ucollectopros.com and if they want to pick up or strap buttons or set up all that stuff we do all that stuff in-house now but we're also going to open it up so people can either swing by or mail us instruments so we're doing full ukulele repairs setups everything people can swing their instrument by and also or mail it to us if you need it so anyway that's the new service we're offering well you'll hear more about it but that's usually the first one to know about that okay alberta nova scotia finland madison wisconsin in the house what's up carl candace from o orlando florida what's up steve Indian Wells. What's up, Steve? Yes, yeah, Steve was just by uh, not too long ago, actually. Miles, Great San Diego, Ontario. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. My, my palm, uh, the way I play, it, it varies. People vary differently, but I usually do rest my hand uh, somewhere on the, on the guitar. Usually, I mean, if I do some palm muting, then yeah, that part of the hand is touching the strings. Or if not, then I'm just like this. I'm actually, oh, I got a little more room to go back. Sorry, I thought it was stuck, but I'm just stuck in the, in the carpet here. But yeah, I usually, I, I a lot of times put my fingers right here. Some people will kind of clench their hand and, and do this. That's fine too. I, I just usually do it. I just do it for that, yeah. What's up, Caroline? Caroline Thomas uh, is has been a well student, yeah, student and friend for a long time now. 
because it, I used to teach up at Santa Monica College back in the day. It's been a while. It's been a, been a cold minute, as someone, uh, my friends from the South would say. But I used to teach up at Santa Monica College. Um, my good friend is still up there teaching, Jimmy Jimmy Cheeseman. But um, yeah, that was that was amazing times. Amazing times. All right. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, I see. I see. Rachel is here and Elaine is here, rocking the house. Donna Baker from Oakley. All right. Yeah, you can do today's lesson on the ukulele. You're just gonna do. Um, it's gonna be a little little challenging because the ukulele is in G and, and E, but but you could. And we do have, we do have all kinds of uh, blues courses at ukulelepros.com too. Okay, so if you if you're just ukulele player, but hopefully guitar is something you striving because if you're a ukulele player to make the jump to the guitar is not as hard as you think it is. Um, and or if you're kind of like a, you know, guitar player, the beginning getting started in or maybe you played in high school or something like that, and you want to get back into it, then this is a great place to start. All right. Don't forget, if you want this work, this whole worksheet here that we're, we're doing today, you can get that rock like the pros.com slash workout, go sign up, you get an instant download for this. All right, so what we're doing is we're looking at this, um, this triplets feature here. Okay. Now it says A7. This is this is this is really an A power chord, but you could call it an A7. It's not it's not that important. You could also just play a regular A7 chord if you want to. But I want to I want to get all these kind of these power chords. Because that's really what it's all about. All right. So a triplet is three notes per beat. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And I am using all downstrokes. I need to get a little oh that's why that's why i couldn't move it was there was a cord underneath my wheel that was, that was stopping all right i'm all using all downstrokes i am using a pick if you want to use your thumb that's fine if you want to kind of do a pinch that's fine as well again it doesn't matter if you have electric acoustic classical all guitars will work and if you have ukulele you can do it as well just grab your regular a7 chord your regular a7 chord all right what i want you to do here is i want you to play these triplets with me same chord fifth string open Four strings, second fret, just those two strings. We're gonna get that real kind of rock power chord sound. We're gonna do triplets, three beats, right? Three notes per beat, okay? Three three notes per beat. Two, let me count you in. One, two, three, here we go. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet. Now you can palm mute it. You do that sound. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. Try not to rush, Olayo. Try not to rush. Two, three triplet, four triplet. All right, so that's the triplet. Okay, three notes per beat. Now, by the way, here in the new shop here, I actually have AC up here. Can you believe it? You might be able to hear a little bit, but there's actually AC going on. Um, amazing, amazing. Uh, okay, so how are we doing so far? One to five, leave it in the chat. One to five, how you're doing? That's the triplet. Now, the easiest way to teach somebody how to do the swing pattern, and I know we're spending a lot of time on it, but this is, is literally this important. And we're about to get into the next thing is to do this. You're gonna, I'm just gonna take this, move it down here. Got our killer rock like the pro logo there. Okay, this really this, what you're gonna do now, let me see if I can make this any bigger. No, so already, it's already as big as, so let me do that. All right, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna take out the middle note, okay? So of this triplet, I gotta remember to erase this later or, or Mari's gonna kill me. All right, basically gonna take out that middle note. You see that? We're just taking it out. Okay? And so by doing that, you're gonna get this sound. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So basically, you're just not playing on the word trip, right? You're just not you're not playing on that word trip right there, all right? And that's it. And that's a shuffle feel. Let's try it together. Three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet. That's it. That's shuffle. Don't forget that. That is, I probably could have explained it even faster if I needed to, but that's how you do shuffle. Now, once you get that, you'll have it forever. 
And so you should be able to switch between a straight and straight and one trip, two trip. All right. Like that's the lesson right there. If you get, if you're a teacher, you you're helping someone play. That's a great, great lesson because so much of our music is either going to be straight or swung. What's swung? Blues, not all blues, but a lot of blues. Jazz music is swung. What's straight? Blues rock, rock music, right? Very straight. All right. All right. Let me just check in the chats here real quick. Then we're going to go on to the next piece here. So I use these printables, right? I use all these things for my live Q and A's. So if uh, at rocklikethepros.com, that's a member of the guitar website, we have a, uh, uh, besides like courses and stuff, we do live stuff, uh, Q and A's, and then also on, at you guys too, but I'll, I'll use these, these printables and I'll mark them up just like I'm doing, and then I'll forget to erase them. And then at some point uh, on the Mac here, the preview, the, the app preview that I use, it doesn't let you erase it anymore. <laughs> and so we're stuck, we're stuck with that on. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. So rocking. So rocking. So, so man, I can't believe all the people here. This is awesome. 84 people. Um, and stick around because at the end, if you're liking what we're doing here, I got a, a really special announcement here. Um, anyway, we're, we're, we're re, we're relaunching, so to speak, a rock like the pros. So you can see we don't have that many subscribers to the channel. Um, so we have over 100,000 on our ukulele one, and now we're starting to build this rock like the pros. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed, we're going to be putting out a lot more content for the guitar. So make sure to subscribe. And thanks again for smashing that like button. We already got 33 likes. I do appreciate it. All right, let me go back now. I want to, I want to do the next thing. We're going to take it up now. We're going to take it up to the next level, OK? And this is a this is this is actually this exact sheet right here is um, it's from one of my first guitar books I ever wrote. I don't have them. They're all downstairs. Like I said, it was kind of hectic. We were at the old studio, so I didn't grab them. But anyway, uh, my beginning my beginning guitar method book, uh, Rock Like the Pros, which is a book that we used up at Santa Monica College, and it, they're still using it at Santa Monica College too. My good friend Jimmy Cheeseman is still using that book. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play four measures. We're going to play four measures of what we just did. Okay. And what this means right here is repeat. Okay. So that's a repeat. If you don't know what that is, that just means repeat the previous thing there, then do it again there, and do it again there. Why would you do that? Simply because you don't need to write this out over and over again. Just too complicated, right? Just too much. Takes up too much space, too. All right. And that looks messy. So let's get rid of that. All right. So yeah, here we go. Let's just do this for four measures. One, two, and three. This is a swan. And Don't do anything with your left hand except play this. One and two and three and four and one. And that's swing, right? This is a simple exercise, but it's got a lot of useful things to it. Not only playing the shuffle feel, but also giving you a little bit of control, making sure you're hitting the right strings here. Okay? If you're using your pick, if you're using your thumb, or if you're doing like a pinch i would like you all to try a pick even if you don't like picks or don't have used them or don't have it we do carry picks at our store but it's something good to get practice on all right so that's part one now part two once you get this down i mean you're off you are off and running all right part two here is right here all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to take that one that first zero two and that's a string to frets zero fret two we're going to hit it twice then we're going to grab that third finger. We're going to reach it out to the fourth fret. Playing kind of hard, a little out of tune, but it's okay. Hit that twice. Take that, take that third finger off. Hit it twice. And then put it back on. All right, so that's what we're doing. Let me go widescreen here. All right, so if you're looking at it, it's just 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, 2, 0, 4. And I'm just doing down strokes. Do this with me. Now, this is harder than you think. If you're new to this, it takes a lot of control. And there you go. 
this is this is the essence of essence of blues right here. How are we doing? Put that in the chat, one to five. That's how we roll over here. One meaning you need some work, five meaning you got it. And also, remember what I said earlier? How are your fingers doing? I had a little a little indentation here, but they're feeling pretty good. If I was on my acoustic, my straight acoustic, they'd probably be hurting a little bit because those strings are thicker. But but I'm feeling pretty good right now. All right, so put that in the chat. My team's here helping me watch that stuff just because, like I said, I'm... Uh, it's hard to catch everything. It's hard to catch everything. All right, now I'm going to put this back on the screen now. What we're going to do now, what we're going to do now, 80 people here. That's that's unbelievable. I'm honored. I'm honored. Uh, been a, we haven't been able to go live much this week. I literally just had the internet was just connected to this place. So the phone is back on again. Everything's connected. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to play this whole page here. This is, this is in that packet, rocklectopros.com slash workshop. If you don't have this packet, this is totally for free. Just got to go sign up. Just put your email in and then you'll get instant access to this, this handout here. All right, so we're going to do four measures of the no movement, four measures. That's the top row here. One, two, three, four. And then four measures of the zero, two, zero, four. And then we just stop on an A power chord there. Okay, that's not necessary. Let me get that out of here. One, two, three, four, and one. Oh yeah, well, you can do a little palm music like I am. Just feel one and two. Follow me. One, two, here we go. Add some movement. And one, two. One, two, here we go. That's it. Like that's literally the essence of being able to play this blues shuffle. And we're gonna put this now in the 12 bar blues form. Okay, so that's a beginning. That's like getting started, the thing I call that. And I've been teaching that for a long time and I've been teaching it because I know it works. It's something that you gotta build up into it. And some of you are, are already maybe past this particular point, but it, you can never, you can never be too good at something even if you feel like you got it, you can always improve your tone. You can always improve your feel, the sound, right? You can you can always improve on things. You can improve your technique, right? There's so many things that you can always, always, always improve on. That's why blues guys, Eric Clapton, Steve Ray Vaughn, the great B.B. King, you know, Muddy Waters. That's why these guys played the blues their whole lives because it, you just always, always, always get better. Right? Even though it's simple in nature, you always, always get better at it. And that's a great thing about music. Okay. All right. Now, let's see here. All right. Now, just, all right, just checking, sure, making sure my, my, uh, my computer was, was, was plugged in. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to take this, what we just learned, and we're going to look at the next handout here, which is a blue shuffle in a variation number one. Okay? So we got this, and then we're going to do the scale. Okay, we're going to get the scale done. And then I do have a really special announcement and uh, for you, including a new book and even a new course. So we'll, we'll get to that in a second. But let's get through this. Hopefully you're learning something or at least just having a great time. <laughs> You're learning something and or having a great time. So all right, let me make that a little bigger. All right, so what we're doing now is this is what we were just doing before. All right, that's exactly what we were just doing. The zero two, zero four. 
now you might notice you might notice that in the chart here it says a6 okay it just says a6 i'm just checking make sure i'm not missing anything all right and the only reason why it does is essentially when you're playing this zero four that's kind of like an a6 chord okay but it doesn't really matter i wouldn't be too hung up on what the chords are i would just focus on playing it now here's the this is the full 12 bar blues okay you got four measures of that that one chord no problem boom then we're going to go to and that's just exactly what we just did okay and we'll play it all in a second that's exactly what we just said now when you get to the d chord what's great about the guitar which is it, it somewhat works on the u but not as much is when you play the, the d chord all you have to do is simply move down okay so you're just taking your first finger and you're literally just going to move it down a string that's it you're going from the fourth string to the third string and now with your picking hand you're going to be playing open fourth string and the third string okay so you're simply taking this a and you're moving everything down your right hand and your left hand down you're playing exactly exactly the same thing all you got to get used to is playing on the different strings that's all because everything else is the same now again it's trickier than you think especially when you're going you got the metronome you got a backing track you're playing it is harder than you think but that's all you're doing which is nice about the guitar it's just taking the same thing and moving it down so again the d or d7 is going to be on fourth string open and the third string it's like a friend and this pattern is going to be the same so it's zero two zero four That's it. All right. Awesome, awesome. Now, let me put the let me put the chart back on. So we just played that. I played I played it a few more times, but measures five and six, right? Now we go back to this, the A7, the A chord. Pretty simple. Do it two times. Let's do it with me. Three, four, and Now, this is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. When you're in the last four bars, that's measures nine through 12, right here up to the repeat. You're gonna do E7, that's the new chord. D7, we did that, A7 and E7. Now, the E7, what's cool about it, it's, it's probably the easiest of the bunch because it's on the low, the two low strings. Open sixth string, and now your first finger's on the fifth string, second fret. So if you notice, all you're doing simply is moving this first finger up and down, right? So it's on the A chord, that's on the fourth string, and you move it down to the D chord, move it back up to the A chord. Then when you get to this E chord, you move it up, okay? And you're on the sixth string, and then the fifth string, and then you're gonna do the same pattern. Zero, two, zero, four. Just go with me for a second. One, all down stroke. Yeah, yeah. Woo. All right. But <laughs> here's where it gets hard. You only do it one time. And we did it a bunch of times there, but you only do it one time. And do, let's do it one time. Three, four, and one. Now, when you get to the D chord, you actually got to move your first finger down two strings. Two strings down. Do it one time. Three, four, and. Yep. Back to the A chord. Move it up. Now, it's your first finger is now on the fourth string again. Three, and. Just one measure. And then the last measure here, measure right here, is the E7 again. Back to the sixth and the fifth string. Ready? So it's a lot of movement, a lot of movement. Let's do it. We're going to do this whole whole last four bars here. One, two, three, four, and to the D. Woo! 
É. É. All right. Now, at that point, when you finish right here, you can either repeat, and notice you repeat and do the whole thing again, or when you're ready, you can just end it on a regular old A chord right there. All right? Let me check the chat, then we're going to do the whole thing. We're going to do this whole thing two times, two times, okay? Okay, two times. All right, how you doing? Leave it in the chat there. Leave it in the chat. Let me go to the YouTube feed here. Where's my YouTube feed? Hold on. Where is it? Where are you? Where did I lost you? There it is. There it is. Okay. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, good. I see some of you are answering questions for me. Awesome. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, we got a Bob Dylan challenge going on. We got a Bob Dylan challenge over on uh, the Uke Like the Pros going on right now, too. All right. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I think we're, we'll leave this link out on YouTube here for a while. Hopefully, it's it's going well. All right. Uh, we're going to do the whole thing now two times. So I just want to get you ready. Right, hold on. I got to send... Okay. All right. We got it. We got like new Wi-Fi here. We got like new everything, right? Everything's new. All right. Let's do the whole thing. I'll do it with you here. I got to go back to my Zoom here. All right. Where's the worksheet? No, that's so far. All right. That's what I want right there. Okay. We're going to do the whole thing now. So let me shrink it a little bit. All right, so now it's a little small, I know, but again, if you want the handout, rocklikethepros.com, rocklikethepros.com uh, slash workshop. Just sign up. You can get this whole, everything we got going on here on the screen. All right, we're going to do the whole thing two times with the repeat. Let's see how you do. One, two, boom, two, three, four, and You could repeat that over and over again if you wanted to. Matter of fact, you could just play for like five minutes. All right. Awesome, right? Now, you might have noticed I might have hit a wrong string here or there. I might have, my, I'm knowing my, my guitar's uh, hair out of tune. It's all right. It's the blues, right? I mean, if I was recording, like, you know, you know, if I was sitting down and record, I'd make sure. But, but this is a blues. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. Matter of fact, it's not, a, it's not so much what the blues is about anyways. All right. How did you do on that? It's not easy. It's not easy, especially if you're, you know, newer to guitar. Um, it's definitely not an easy thing to do, but it's essential. It's really, really essential. All right. CSI. That's what I like to see. Now we're going to go over the scale. 
And uh, I do have a new book and a new course that we're going to talk about here in just a second, too. And I have a special for you just for being here today. And I do appreciate you taking the time um, here. I'm really excited to be here at the new headquarters. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, got a little little space up here. We got a little privacy. We got a much bigger space. Um, got the AC, which is nice. So really, really, really cool. Oh, what's up, Pete? Peter's here. Uh, okay, good. Now that, what, what we don't have time to get into today is that's like variation one, just like it says, you can start getting into, well, that's kind of blues rock, but you could this that's what the, the point i'm trying to make is this is a foundation of what we need to know okay so we get this one variation down we learn another variation we learn another variation we learn these variations and then we can start like intermixing them together and you can create start creating your own your own styles okay so that's what's really cool about learning but you got to get you got to get this one down it is really really important and it's not boring it's just a foundation and then you build you build upon that right there by learning these different variations okay and i do go over these variations we're not going to have time to do them today but in the course which we'll talk about in a minute we do go over those different variations okay yeah good even on ukulele absolutely absolutely uh, and we do have blues content at ukulelepros.com and then of course this is our new rock like the pros and and uh even though i know a lot, a lot of ukulele players play guitar or want to play guitar and it's always because it's kind of a decision do we leave all the guitar content on ukulele like the pros or do we a separate channel we just decided to separate because even though a lot of ukulele players like guitar want to play guitar we still wanted to keep ukulele like the pros more focused on ukulele content and then with the rock like the pros we can do our more guitar guitar content for everybody all right now the last thing here i want to show you today is by the way, I have 47 uh, likes. Thank you for that. And I love seeing you all in the chat, being active and being a participant. That's absolutely, absolutely amazing. Well, um, I know a lot of you have been sticking around. It's almost been an hour. Uh, I was a little late because of the, the technical difficulties, but I am here and I'm so thankful that you are here as well. But the last thing I want to go over is the scale. All right. So I want to give you as much, as much content, as much value as I can here. So you can have it, you can take it with you and learn, and then you can decide if you want to stick around and kind of follow up with some additional lessons with guitar this last page here this is absolutely this is a, an absolutely essential page this has two of your your scales you need to know which is one the a minor pentatonic scale and two the a blue scale What we're going to focus on today is the blues scale. Okay? Now, it's usually the second scale I teach. I usually do the minor pentatonic first, but let's go ahead and do the blues scale. The reason is, it's just a, such a cool scale, and it, it's actually not that much harder than the, the minor pentatonic scale. It's actually very, very similar. So anyway, let's do that. By the way, I just wanted to show you the back of this guitar. Look at this. Absolutely. It looks like maybe some kind of walnut, but it's just absolutely absolutely gorgeous gorgeous guitar i actually love this guitar absolutely love this guitar great blues guitar all right again any guitar works for us today all right now the the blue scale this is really important this is the a blue scale and the reason why it's a is because you're starting on a note now you can play this in open position But I want to move it up to the fifth fret. Yeah, this, I just always teach you here. I think it's a great scale to learn up here in the, the closed position. All right, five, eight. Go ahead and, and if you notice underneath, I put the fingerings here. 
that you have all the fingerings right here for this five right here, right? Five, eight, first finger, fourth finger. Next string down is five, six. That's what's called the blue note. That's your flat five note. And then seven this is your third finger. We're gonna move down to the next string, five, seven. Move down to the next string, five, seven, eight. Eight with, and use your pinky there. Get, get that pinky going, even though I know you could play it with your third finger. But get that pinky going. That's the blue note to. It was a tr you know that that rub there because that's an E flat note, and the next string down right here is is E, so E flat. Ooh. But that's the sound of blues. That rub. That kind of sounds a little countryish too. All right, so five eight here, we're right here, five eight. Pinky on that eighth fret, five, five eight again. Okay, we just stop right there. Let's do that together, starting from the top. One, two, quarter notes, three, four, and. Now notice it says alternate picking. So down stroke, up stroke, down, up, down, up. So alternate picking, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now that's what we call ascending. If we're going from a lower note to a higher note. Now we want to come back down. It's exactly the same notes, it's just backwards. Okay. So it's exactly the same notes, just backwards. You just got to get used to that. So what we'll do is we'll just slide this over here. So let's start on the eight. Eight, five. Next string up, eight, five. Now we're here, here's that blue note, eight, five, oh, seven, that's it, five, seven, five, seven, six, that's your blue note, five, eight, and five. Okay, let's do that together from ascending. So we're starting right here, three, Four, so one. All right, so that's down and up. Right, how are we doing so far? We're going to play it together, and then I'm going to show you how to use this scale to do some soloing. All right? And then... We'll talk about the new book and the new course here, and I have a special offer just for you today. I think this is, you know, the funny thing about this Gibson is that it's not labeled at all. Okay, so there's actually no serial number on it, and there is no, there's no tag inside. So um, I remember when I bought it. Um, from the, the shop down the street, uh, he told me what it is. It's not, it's not a 175 and it's not a 330, 125 T. I, you know, that's a great question. I keep on meaning to, to look at it. Um, it's probably, I think, I think it's from the sixties. I think this is a sixties model of, of this particular year. So um, I just never worry care because it's just such an amazing guitar. I said, you, it's such an amazing guitar. I just love it. I just love what it is. So, uh, but yeah, maybe someone, so it might be a 125 T. It could be a 125, um, but yeah, really, really cool. All right, let's go ahead. Now we're going to do this scale and I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, when we, when we do this scale together, you don't have to play that second. You don't have to play that eight note twice. All right. All right. So when you go up, you just play this eight right here one time. And then you go right back down, okay? Right back down. Here we go. Let's try it. Two, three, four. One, two.
Now, get that memorized. Get that memorized, okay? So you don't have to think about it. Now, I'm going to show you what you can do with it. Now, the, the course, which we're going to talk about in a second, the course has some solos that I wrote out for you using these scales because that's always the biggest problem is that we want to play guitar. We want to play blues. We want to solo using the blues. But we don't really know what to do. Okay, we may know the scale. But how do we go from taking the scale to playing some licks? And that's always the biggest challenge with all of us, okay? Myself included. It's always the biggest challenge is how do you take the scale and make it sound like a solo? And that's what the greats do. That's the guys like Eric Clapton do, B.B. King do, right? They take these scales, these simple scales, and they make cool solos at them. All right, now, all you gotta do is once you get the scale down, it's just think of this as little chunks, also known as riffs, also known as licks, okay? So once you get these down, you learn a bunch of these riff, riffs, and you get you learn these riffs by listening. I've talked about this before. If you follow me, you know I talk about this a lot. If you want to play blues guitar, listen to blues guitar players or blues, whatever, singers, saxophone players. doesn't have to just be a guitar player. I think a lot of us, we kind of want to learn something. And I, I say this because I'm included. But we don't, um, you don't uh, immerse yourself in it. And so if you want to learn about blues and guitar, you need to immerse yourself in it, not only by stuff like the workshop, not only by getting the course, not only by getting the book, but then listening too, right? It's all, it's immersive. You're listening, you know, and, and then that's when you get better at something like the blues or learning something new. You got to really immerse yourself in it. All right. So I just want to play a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do... shuffle and I'm going to throw some licks in. And you can do this because you know everything now. You know what I'm playing here on the rhythm. And I'm using the scale. How cool does this sound? You got to go to a different pattern. Now, I'm not trying to be too fancy or I'm not trying to do anything like that. Just kind of playing a little bit. But I just took literally what we did. I taught you the blues shuffle. I taught you the scale. And then I'm kind of mixing it up. And it's going to be a slow process. I remember there was this great kid I, I lived next door to up in L.A. I had this amazing studio. And, and he was a great young uh, guitar player. He loved the blues. And he was great at kind of doing what I just did. He playing, playing a little rhythm, doing some soloing and stuff like that. But it just taking that scale, taking that shuffle and mixing it up a little bit. Okay? Now, what you need to have is you have to have good time, right? This is the thing we talked about. You have to have good time. You have to have good feel. You have to have these two things down really pat, right? The shuffle, you got to have the scale down. You got to have a good sense of the 12 bar blues. And so as you're going through and playing, you can remember where you are in the particular blue so there's a lot of other aspects to this but you all 
you have the ability to do what I just did even better and even more so um, just by doing some practice. So let me go over to the chat real quick. I just want to see how we're doing so far. Sister Rosetta Tharp is, yeah, she is, like, she, she was, uh, she influenced, like, the greats. Like, she was doing her thing back before a lot of the greats did that. So you, you listen to guys like Keith Richards and a lot of those, those guys do, do credit uh, Sister Rosetta Tharp for, um, for that. Yeah, Clapton Unplugged is absolutely fantastic as well. Okay, all right. So, first thing, uh, thank you all. Thank you. So, the first thing I just want to hit you to is that if you like this blues, these these lessons were actually taken right from our brand new course we have. That's the beginning blues mastery course. Okay, for guitar. Okay. Now we have a special today. Okay, because normally this this course just came out. It's normally sixty seven dollars for the course. Okay. I think it's about 20, 20 lessons for it. Normally $67, but today, just for you being here right now, just for you being here, we're actually going to give you $20 off the course uh, right now. I have a link for you and it's probably being dropped in the chat by my team anyways. But if you want to sign up for the course, we're going to run this just for a few days for this special, um, but you get it for $47. So that that's, that's a lifetime access to the course, okay, is uh, when you get this. So this blues course, beginning blues mastery, we're going to go over this kind of stuff. We deep dive deeper into the variations. Remember I was showing that variations. We dive deeper into the soloing as well. There's actually even a little finger picking in there as well too. Okay. So it's really super simple. Rocklikethepros.com slash blues. We're trying to keep these links simple for you. Rocklikethepros.com slash blues. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll go to that page here in a second. Where is my chat? Okay, so that's for the course. I'll put it up on the screen just so you, you can see it. And we have a coupon code for you, okay? So we have a coupon code for you. Let me put it up. It's called, it's Guitar Blues, okay? So the code is Guitar Blues. And I'll show you what you do here. All right, and by the way, thank you all for sticking around. I love, 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 love seeing you. I love being back on doing some guitar stuff as well. I mean, we've been doing a guitar Q&A for a while, but we're back back doing this. So uh, let me actually, on oh, this is a wrong, let me just show you what the page looks like, and I'll show you how the coupon looks. So if you go to this page here, and the page looks killer, thanks to Alex for crushing this, uh, beginning beginning blues guitar mastery course, all right? So you get all the all the lessons, it's, it's, it's close to 20 lessons overall, uh, you get all the download material, you get the backing tracks, you get all the PDFs as, as well. Um, and then we have some best special discounts on the book and stuff. We'll talk about that. So anyway, you can get some more information on the course right here. There's a little video of me describing. I'm kind of looking like an old uh, GQ blues player in that photo. I love that photo though. Great photo. And uh, you can find out more that when you go to the course and again, this is at rocklikethepros.com. Here's the course. All you got to do is simply put that coupon in guitar blues, hit apply. Boom takes off to $20 right there. Okay. Guitar blues. And then you get the course again, this is lifetime access to the course. You get everything. You don't have to rush through it. You're not going to lose access in a month or anything. This is, this is it, all that. You just add that right there and then you are good to go. So, um, all right, that's the blues master course. Oh, Carlos got a question. Yes, they do. Uh, so, uh, that's Carla, by the way, if you, if you call or talk to support, that's, that's card, right? So that's a big, that course, absolutely fantastic i'm excited about the course of course it's a it is a video course going over the blues going over all this stuff and for the next today and next few days i think it's about three days we're going to run it you get 47 dollars for the course that's 20 dollars off right there so that's that's the course now what i showed you earlier <laughs> which i'm super excited about oh we do have a membership i forgot about that uh we do have a membership at rock like the pros too it's we're just like we're just starting to add a lot of courses to it so, but with the membership you actually get access to all the new courses and access to the q a we do a live q a um right now we, right now we're just doing it about once a month uh, but you get access to that we we have some back ones recorded too we used to do it a little bit more frequently but right now just due to everything going on we do it once a month um, we have a fantastic community so if you are part of uh the membership not only do you get the course but you also get access to uh, all that as well. So um, I'm trying to find the link. I, 
I'll just give you the link here for it. But rocklikethepros.com, that has really everything you need to know. Uh, so you can either choose to just get the course, or if you want to become a member, uh, that's also an option as well. We do have a yearly and a monthly price. So, all right, so that's that. But also, and, and my team works really, really hard on this, besides the course, and when you get the course, even if you're a member too, we're going to give you a discount on the book as well. So the book is coming out. It's basically like, it's it's more or less what's in the course, but kind of like looks looks a little different. Plus it has a little bit more things in it. So you get the, the beginning blues guitar mastery course. You get the discount on that book. We're going to submit it to Amazon here, I think in the next day or two, and then it will be live soon. So that's the actual book. And as you scroll through it here on the left, you can see all the different pages. Like, by the way, there's my guitar right there for it but anyway you just scroll through you get all the all the stuff there's a whole book and that's essentially what's all in the course little old little rocker little rocker me back in the day my hair is a little longer than it is now so <clears throat> anyway so you get you get the whole all the book you get all the all the different lessons As a matter of fact here's octave jump blues there's some soloing stuff in here as well um, different variations. Remember, we we're talking about the different variations. So that's in here as well, um, and a bunch of stuff. So anyway, that's a book that goes along with the course, and you get a discount uh, for that when you when you get the course. So, um, or if you're a member, you can as well. So anyway, uh, that's it. That's really all I got. So um, I hope that you got some some value out of this. You learned something new. It sparked your interest in. The guitar again or or blues or or you know just kind of getting involved like i said earlier is that we are like i'm being a little humble here i'm being a little humble uh you know i've been focused on the ukulele a lot the last few years and so the guitar is it's still there it's always there it never goes away i play guitar with my kids and stuff but i'm, I'm kind of rededicating myself to getting back in a guitar and i want you to join in the journey with me of rededicating and by we can grow and kind of get our build our technique for me i'm growing my technique back and getting it back again to where it once was when i was doing you know more of my studio work that i talked to you about earlier so anyway it's really really exciting uh to uh <laughs> the book it, it is ready we just got to do like the final proof you know check the, the final proof but it is ready uh unlike sometimes when we do a book and then uh, we do a course and then like the book's ready like a year later so we're, we're working on it me and the team we're always trying to improve so anyway um uh, it's so awesome i'm very humbled that you're here i do thank you for taking time out of your days to be here hopefully you learned something and i hope to, to see you you know in the course join the membership and i hope that you stick with the guitar uh we're going to be doing a lot more guitar content so if you know you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe to the youtube channel here uh rock like the pros also um you know we have an instagram we have the everything you know we're, we're building up everything um and so we're just excited to be doing that and hopefully providing some great guitar content for you guys so um anyway thanks for being here i'm gonna i'm gonna check out here and uh gotta go uh see what the team's up to. And I actually got to go back to the old warehouse too. So anyway, it's great. It's great seeing you. Thanks for your time, your dedication, all your support. It means, it means tons to me. So thanks to my team, Mari and Alex. Oh, oh, there was one more thing. Yeah. We're doing 10% off guitars and guitar uh, accessories at the store. I forgot about that. Thanks. I remembered. So there's a code right there for you. Here it is. Um, Alex just put it in the chat. So we're doing all the guitar accessories. That's my books. You can get my books. You can get the guitars. We do carry guitars, by the way. Actually, a good amount of guitars. We do carry guitars as well uh, over at Uclect the Pros. So um, anyway, it's all there if that's something that you are interested in. So uh, anyway, I'm just looking at it now. Looks awesome. Yeah, it's good to see it. So anyway, y'all, have a good one. Be safe. Thanks for all the support. And uh, we will see you. Next time, I'm going to check this out here. Let me get here. And uh, all right, have a good one. And keep on, keep on picking. All right, bye. All right.